Hello. It's uh, late afternoon. Colorado in a sort of nondescript hotel. There's George Kalakos with me. And uh, I'm about to head out to see Uncle and the rest of the family. And that means the day could disappear before we do a meditation. So take a moment. Uh, you know, there's the grandeur of the mountains outside. and probably some cool trees to do meditation with and we're just sitting here in a hotel with you know cheap microwave and a loud air conditioner but the meditation happens inside doesn't it doesn't matter where you are um, so I'm sitting on this uh, we'll say it passes for a mattress <clears throat> with what passes for a roommate <laughs> and uh we just had a long conversation. One of the things that George was talking about was uh, the simple joy of the breath. So, let's try that. So I think in order to do that, we don't want to exercise our executive functions. We're not trying to have a certain type of breath or not trying to do a breath that we know the name of that we learned at that yoga retreat we're not trying to have a particularly deep breath we're not trying to do a certain number of breaths matter of fact there's no kung fu applied to the breath at all the kung fu is in the optimism of aliveness. And it's directed at the breath, but not the caused breath, not the purposeful breath. The breath that happens because of the unconscious and continual permission, invitation, welcome, direction of the mind. George was using the term just this, just this, it reminded me of an old Japanese Buddhist saying. Only this. See, there's the sky. We get to get to experience that. Here's this other breath filling the body, here's this other breath leaving the body, we get to experience that. And we can experience it in a joyous way. Not because it's the best breath ever, or it's clean mountain air, or you smell for breeze from the bathroom next door. It's not mated to the quality of the breath. It's that liveliness of aliveness. It's the optimistic joy of just this. And so we're not going to direct ourselves through breathing in this meditation. We're just directing our faculties in that sort of joyous, optimistic bent towards what's already happening in the breath. We're born into this state where we get to have this experience. And even if you have a really challenged breath, 
You get to have that breath. And so I won't say breathe in the nose or breathe to the lower dantian or breathe through the sham dantian. We're just going to breathe as we breathe and direct ourselves to some version of joyousness as we relate to that breath. I want to say hi, George. Oh, is our inspiration. So here we go. This particular meditation could be done walking, sitting, standing, laying down. I just happen to be sitting. The reason I'm using the term optimistic is that I'm not making any qualitative assessment of the particular breath. So it's rather like a simple computer. Any input, the same output will arrive. So any breath, any type of breath, any duration of breath, any quality of breath, any lack of breath, any challenge to the breath, there's only one response programmed, and that's joy. So as we're having this experience, we want to caution ourselves against judgment of the breath, any qualitative view. And to help you with that, <clears throat> George taught us, although he may not have known he was teaching us at the time, but he said, a few minutes ago, just this. He looked up at the sky, opened his arms, just this. Took in a breath, just this. Oh. Okay, now I have to go see Elko, so you're on your own. Thank you. Thank you, George.